Hello, I'm Daniela, and I wanted to give you an update on my work in the 52 tags handmade by textile artist Ann Brooks. I've completed the next five tags in the series, tags six through 10, so I'm a little behind where she is, but I've had such fun doing it, and I've learned a lot along the way. So let's get started looking at the next five tags. So here I have tags one through five, and I reviewed those in a previous video, but here are the new ones. So tag six features buttons. So I have my mini buttons, and then I echoed the colors in my work. Tag seven was hexes, and this was a new technique to me where I learned to fold these hexagon patterns using paper, and then I just added them to my piece, and I combined them um, featuring different little artwork on the fabric. So this was another fun piece. Week eight was themed knots. So I did lots of French knots. And when I started doing it, I just loved the way the texture looked. So I decided I'd make a rainbow of French knots going from red to purple. So number nine was bits and pieces and a treasure. And what a lovely prompt that was. I have little bits and pieces of fabric, some embroidery that I did. And then I included a little card that my daughters wrote and was attached with some flowers they sent me one year for my birthday. It was so sweet, I kept it, and now I have something where I can really showcase it. The last one was called Suffolk Puffs and Lace. Now Suffolk Puffs is kind of an elegant name for these little fabric yo-yos that I grew up. I guess the Suffolk Puff is the English version, and of course it's lovely and elegant. So here I have mine with my lace, and then I just embroidered around the lace, echoing the colors in the little Suffolk puffs, which I will forever call them Suffolk puffs from now on. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to showing you my next five tags.